Before the video starts, I know what you're thinking, Blissful, you're just making this because it's easy content and everyone else is doing it, and the answer to that is yes, I most certainly am. These subreddit videos have been blowing up around YouTube recently and they're pretty fun to watch and listen to when you're just relaxing so I thought I may as well make one myself. The subreddit we're going to be diving into is r slash entitled parents. I know there's people that don't like these type of videos and feel like they're kind of boring but for anyone that does, grab a chair, sit down and enjoy story time. My first post on Untitled Parents, AP equals Untitled Mom, K equals Kid, Me equals Me of course, Ma equals Mother. Okay so this happened last summer 2018, it was a good day and I was at the mall. It was a pretty cool mall with a theatre and tons of shops. Anyway I had my iPhone and I was playing PUBG Mobile, please don't judge me. Anyway my mom was going into some clothes shop at the mall and I didn't want to come along since it was a boring ass clothes shop for elderly people. So I was outside playing my game when some kid around 7 or 9 came to me peering over my shoulder. Now I had no problem with this and I kept playing my game pwning some noobs. Now if you don't know PUBG it's the OG Battle Royale game and there's some guns in there but there's no real violence in the game. There was some blood but that was it. He left for a while and brought AP with him. The dialogue's not completely accurate. Just to let you know, they were both black. Not being racist but this is important later. Okay. Mom, that game looks cool. AP looks over my shoulder and sees that I'm playing a shooter game. Excuse me, young man. Yes. How dare you play a dangerous violent game? Yes, she called it dangerous. Why are you trying to poison my child? Ma'am, he came. You do not deserve such a gadget. Ma'am, I'm just playing a game. AP. A game? A game? Just a game? It is explicit, not appropriate, and you're making kids dangerous. Kids. Nah, it's just a game. EP in a soft voice. Oh, honey, I know you want to play that game, but I cannot let my son become a violent school shooter. Me, I'm not a school shoot. EP, you better not apologize to my little Billy. Not his real name. Me, I'm sorry, dude. Kid, ma, stop. I'm really shocked how Kay isn't on EP's side and trying to defend me. EP, kids these days only care about killing other people and ruining children's lives. Disgusting. Absolutely horrid. Everyone in the mall is looking at us now and we've gained the crowd, which we're all just bystanders. My god. EP, hand me the fucking phone now. No. No, now my little Billy is obviously more responsible than a stupid teenager. My mom is rushing out of the store with a bunch of shit in her hands. Ma, is everything alright here? EP, not knowing that this is my mom because I'm a mix between Asian and Canadian and my mom is Canadian, says, This man stole a phone and verbally abused my son. Ma, that's my son's phone. Exactly. No, he is my son. Yeah, fine, but he still verbally abused my son and called my boy a n one man, which I'll call S, steps in. S, he did not, and I already called security here, they are on their way. EP then grabs K and starts to try to run away, but not before trying to snatch my phone out of my hand. I'm really strong, so she obviously does not win, and she tries to run, but the crowd is blocking her from running away. In 27.9850152 seconds later, the security guard comes, and K is crying, and Ma is trying to ask what is going on. I don't know what happened after that, but I feel really bad for the kid. I hope he got put up for adoption or something. So this story was back when I was in 8th grade, I'm currently in 10th and I still remember it clearly because of how mad I was at this lady. I like to draw a lot and from grade 6 to grade 8 I would go to this one part that was right beside my younger brother's hockey practice and would draw people for $3 per person in the drawing. I usually had a lot of kids come up to me and ask for me to draw them but I would always make them ask their parents because 1. I drew a kid without a parent's permission once and got accused of paedophilia and stalking in 6th grade and 2. The kids usually don't have any money to pay me for it. Keep in mind I'm your stereotypical looking white girl. Mine is looking rich, my family can't afford expensive brands anything so I'm not going to go around in Gucci or Vans and a lot of people have mistaken me for being older than I am since both my parents passed down their height, they're both pretty tall and my uh, bust has always been a bit bigger than most girls my age ever since I had puberty. Anyway on with what happened, EM equals entitled mom, ND equals nice dad, ET one or two equals entitled twins, NK equals nice kid, me equals me. NK comes up to me as I finish drawing one of the kids I play with regularly and I know her mom will pay me back later for it because I sometimes babysat her and her sister and she adds the extra on my pay. NK asks if I can draw him and I tell me has to ask his mum or dad first. He runs off to go find them and I see him excitedly ask them if he can get his portrait done. They both kind of shrug and nod and the boy runs back over to me. I inform him that it's $3 and he assures me that his parents will be okay with it because I told them since I saw the free on her sign. I keep a sign next to me that says portraits $3 per person and has a sketch of myself on it. I nod and start sketching him. He gets impatient after a bit so I take a picture of him to use as a reference to tell him he can keep playing, standing up my busy sign next to me. I keep looking back and forth between my Obama phone with his picture and the paper to complete his portrait. After maybe 15 minutes of me drawing and NK occasionally coming over to ask how far I've gotten, I've got to the point where I'm ready to add colour. Now, my sign clearly states that the sketching and inking is $3, but the colour's an additional 2. I ask him if he wants me to colour it and he says yes, so I tell him to ask his parents if they're okay with paying me the $2 for me to colour it. He runs off and maybe a minute later comes back and says I can colour it. I get out my coloured pencils and he talks to me for a while before asking why I use Crayola, not some sort of fancy brand. I explain to him that Crayola's actually very nice and I also can't afford the fancier brand. Is that why you're drawing for money he asks. I nod and continue working on the drawing. He seems surprised, but you're white, he says. 
I almost mess up the drawing by jerking the pencil across the paper from the shock and look over at him. I ask him what he means and he says, all the white people have money. So I shake my head and kind of chuckle from that, explaining to him that my family is not actually like that, nor were my ancestors. I tell him how my family came from Norway a few generations ago on my dad's side and my mom's side is from Europe. He kind of nods but still looks confused, but I don't want to keep talking since my mom is a sore subject, so I let it be and keep working. Soon EM and ND come into view, walking with ETs 1 and 2. EM sits on the other side of me and praises my work, so happy with the cartoon drawing of her son. I kind of laugh nervously and nod, not used to the parents liking my art and usually dealing with them being angry that it's a cartoon and not a realistic portrait. I finally finish and politely ask for the money I need. She shakes her head and laughs. EM. Oh no no, you don't really need five dollars sweetie, I'm sure you'll just be fine. I ask her what on earth she means, a little upset that she would assume that. EM. You don't really look like you need it. That statement made me start to get angry since I knew exactly what she meant. I'd been bullied by a girl since fifth grade because of the exact assumption. Besides, she continues, you didn't charge that other little girl. I let my confusion show and ask what she means. The little blonde girl. You didn't charge her anything? I saw. I know now she means the girl I usually play with. Yeah. I babysit her. She asked me to sketch her sometimes and her mum adds the amount onto my babysitting pay. She's not having it and starts raising her voice. EM. Oh yeah right. She spits. What a cop out. You're charging us money because you're racist. Oh boy. Did that nearly send me reeling. A lot of people were now looking in our direction though, including many children and the two sisters I babysat. So I did my best to keep calm despite my anger issues. Ma'am, my sign clearly clearly states my prices, I say quietly, trying to divert attention away from us. She glares at me, you're charging us money because we're black, at that, ND comes forward, okay honey, let's not get angry, you know her sign says, EM, she didn't charge the other girl, me, her mom will pay me for it when I babysit her, she reaches for my sketchbook and I hold it tightly to my chest to keep her from taking it, I did this because despite drawing people at the park I had many other drawings in there, like my fan arts for TMNT and Undertale and even a small sketch of PewDiePie that I'd rather she didn't see, one in particular of my favourite shit from TMNT, holding hands and kissing. This makes her absolutely livid. She shouts, give me the drawing of my son. I reply with give me five dollars for my labour. I'm shaking, not used to standing up for myself. I've always been relatively shy around adults, but I'm more angry than anything. She goes on and reel about how awful my art is anyway and how she could have done better with her eyes closed, and how her family is too down on luck to pay five dollars for something they asked for. I make an admittedly rude comment about her Valentino bag and how it seems funny that she can afford that when she's down on her luck. She simply storms off, leaving people to choose whether to watch her leave or watch my reaction. I'm silently fuming. ETs 1 and 2 stick out their tongues at me and kick sand in my direction until ND practically growls at them to stop and go away. NK is crying on the bench next to me. The two boys ran after her mom, leaving ND and NK alone with each other. ND apologised profusely for his wife and I reassure him that it's not his fault and that she's her own person. He gave me a $10 bill which I tried to refuse but he insisted that I have. $5 for the art and $5 for not hitting her through my anger. I laughed and finally accepted it and NK took his drawing, promising me he would keep it and make sure she didn't ruin it. I patted his head and he and his dad left. His dad keeping the drawing folded in his pocket. I avoided that park for a while but almost never saw them there. A few times that I did though, they would only glare at me and whisper to her twins, presumably talking trash about me, I don't know. I'm just glad she's never came over and beat me up or something. Anyway, that's the end of r slash entitled parents. I'll have another video up tomorrow or the next day on r slash choosing beggars, but if you did like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. If this is something you want to see more of as well, please let me know below because it's something that could be turned into a sort of series and something that I can upload frequently as well. And finally, thank you for fussy subscribers. I know it's not much, but it means a lot, so very epic one for the gamers. So then I got to pass around and I'm allowing you still in life Six to eight years to arrive and if you follow the man